Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture. Sad story to start off with. Shannon Darty says her cancer has hit the bones, and she doesn't want to die. That's sad because uh, it's not looking good. Once it hits the bone, it's very sad. William, according to this Endgame book, apparently admitted some lines were crossed with Rose Hanbury. But what does that mean? Improper texting, you know, had some desire. But he hung with Kate. Folks, let me talk straight to you. Anybody is in any relationship, including marriage, you're going to have temptations. You're going to hit rough patches. What matters is does the couple work through it? I love William and Kate. Don't you, Jamie? Absolutely. <laughs> and I got the hots for Kate. So do I. I mean, she's probably tempted to, you know, but she doesn't. You know, she probably looks at me and says, he's an American. He doesn't have any hair, just like William. But unlike William, he shaves it all off. He's a handsome bloke. But she's going to not cheat on William with me. I think she would prefer me instead of you, Bulldog. <laughs> Why? Because of the accent? My looks. Oh, my God. ACDC's going on a global war tour. World tour. We got to figure out where they're going, Jamie. You like ACDC? Yes, I do. Let's go to ACDC concert. My wife doesn't, so we got to go. All right, this is creepy, all right? <laughs> Richard Dawson, the former Family Feud host, apparently everybody that was on the show had to be tested for herpes because he kissed them. By the way, you could never do what Richard Dawson did back in the day, kissing all the contestants today. But let me tell you something. Even back in the day, Josh Wentz, it was creepy. He would kiss these freaking female contestants, and it made me uncomfortable even back in the day. It was like a big thing. Yeah, but it was a big thing, but it was a little creepy. Yeah. At least it was to me. Yeah. Richard Dawson, what a perv. Think of all the beautiful women, though, he kissed. All right, Piers Morgan, name the names of the two British royals that the Dutch book translated. And this is going to blow you away. The two that Meghan took a shot at, King Charles and Kate. And you know what? Piers Morgan, at the same time he announced it, that those were the two that they were saying, says, BS, never happened. Two things. He says, I'm sure it never happened at all. But the other issue was, was it an honest statement? Not a racist statement. You know, not a racist statement, a matter-of-fact statement. If you are black and you're white, by the way, this, this cracks me up. My cousin's daughter is married to a black guy. This is hysterical. It's funnier than hell. They had, one of their kids is uh, black and white mix. The other one is white as snow. So, you know, it's an honest question. It's not a racist question. But I tell you right now, that is the death knell to Harry and Meghan with the royal family. I mean, you call your dad and your sister-in-law racist? See ya. Alec Baldwin settled a defamation case where he blasted a Marine about January 6th. I wonder if Alec Baldwin has a special litigation fund set up. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.